what we're looking at today is a dry valley, a distinct landform in the lowlands, where you'll be able to say that it's a combination of the geology, two different rocks, clay and chalk, and the last ice age, permafrost. So let's set about it. Right, what we've got here on the left hand side is the veil, the veil created by the, the clay. The clay is impermeable, does not let water go through it, so we're going to get rivers surface runoff on the clay. The chalk though is very permeable, so the rainwater will percolate straight through the rock. However, where the water going through the chalk meets the clay, we're going to get a build up of water that we call a water table. Now, when that water rises higher than the impermeable clay, we're going to get springs. And you'll often find that there's something called a spring line along the base of the scarp slope. OK, so that's one thing the examiner might ask. However, we're going to go back in time. The last ice age, the ice age in the southern part, lowland part of Britain, we didn't have glaciers, but we did have permafrost. Hopefully you can see now that the water table has frozen. So the snow on the surface, when that snow melts, it cannot no longer percolate into the chalk because the water in the chalk has frozen. So we're getting at get surface runoff. Repeated action, maybe summers, but also at the end of the last ice age, when all the snow did melt, the permafrost would have still been a bit frozen. Lots of surface runoff. Not for a long time, but enough to create an erosive feature. That erosive feature now, today, is a valley that has no stream at the bottom of it. Because as we found out, when it rains on the chalk, the water pretty much goes straight into the rock. I'm hoping this has been useful.